Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use append, merge, and boolean an object within ZBrush. So what we're going to do first of all is we are going to click and drag out just to any object that we may be wanting to work on. We're going to go into edit mode, and I'm just going to turn on perspective so I can see what's going on. We're going to append an object so it comes into the scene at the same time. So we're going to drop into subtools. We're going to go into append and we are going to bring in a sphere 3D. So you should see now that there's one within the side of that. So what we're going to do is select the sphere and we're going to click and drag and move that over and out. Okay, so now we've got two subtools that are actively in the scene at the same time. That's appending. So what we should see is that we can edit both of them, but we won't be able to actually do anything simultaneously. See that it's only working on one of the subtools at the same time, which is rather annoying. If we put the sphere back on and move it back out again. Okay, now in order to work on them simultaneously, we're going to need to merge them. So we're going to drop down into the merge part of the subtool column and we're going to tell it that what we want to do is to merge down, but we want to make sure that we weld the two points together. So we hold that on, merge down. It's an undoable operation, so once it's done, they're one subtool, so press OK, and we now have them both as a singular subtool. So what we should see is when we do something to it, that it will change it. However, with them being different amounts of um, polygons on each of them, I would probably say the best idea from here is to go into geometry and then do a remesh or use a dynamesh. So with this one, for the next part, we're going to try and do a boolean. So we're going to dynamesh the object so that they should hopefully be relatively similar. Now they're different polygroups at the moment, so what I'm going to do is to combine the two. So if we see in the line fill, now they're both exactly the same. Now what I want to start to do is to use appended objects in order to boolean a shape into another object. So what we're going to do is go back into our subtool, append, and we're going to pick this time I don't know, a cube, and we're going to edit that however we want it, wherever we want the object. So if we select the cube, um, let's scale it down a little bit. And move it. So this time, we want to get perhaps a slightly different occurrence we've added this one onto it and we want to minus this other one so what we're going to do is to tell it that it's a subtraction object then we're also going to go into polygroups we're going to tell it that it's a group as a dynamish sub We're going to click back in our subtools on the main object. And then we are going to click the main as we have, merge down, undoable object, we know, OK. And then we're going to redynamesh the object. And we should see that we're boolean the shape into the area, which allows us then re it to continue doing the sculpting that we had done previously.